in this video we are going to learn that how to configure and use state server session management now before we do that first let us try to understand that why it is needed to store the session data into the state server and what is the use of it basically uh, when we store the uh, session information in in proc it means in on the web server what happens is that as soon as your application restart or crashes your session data is also lost and this is fine for the normal website but in case you are uh, storing some very critical data related with the user or, or related with the customer into the session uh, variable and uh, uh, after caching of the application that session data is also lost then this may be a very very uh, big problem for you so in order to avoid this kind of scenario where even if our application is crashing or restarting the session data should not lo lose we can store those session data into the different process altogether and in this how to we are going to learn that so uh, in order to do that what we will do is that first we will enable the uh, session state asp.net session state service yeah. because when we use the state server uh, session management all the data is stored uh, in, into the into the another process of asp.net state server and uh, th that runs on your machine automatically uh, as, as a service so first let me tell you how to go and enable your uh, ASP.NET session state so in order to uh, run the ASP.NET state server uh, service you can right click manage right click the my computer or computer icon and click on the manage and then click on uh, services and applications from the left panel click on services and here you will get one uh, service named ASP.NET state service by default it might be uh, stopped so what you can do is that you can double click it and here a start tab you can write automatic start and then you can start it okay once you will start it then you will be able to store the data into this ASP.NET state ser service so th this, is, this is the only one step that you need to follow wherever you want to store uh, your session data into the ASP.NET state service now once you have done that then you, you are done with the first step now the second step is to configure your web.config file to use the state server as your uh, session data storage so for that what we need to do is that we need to use the session state tag under the uh, system.web in our web.config file so let me add that now here what we are doing is that we are writing session state and mode is equal to state server you can see that in the mode you will have many uh, values for example you can have custom in proc of SQL server state server in proc is by default if you not specify anything by default it will be in proc it means that the session data is stored into the web server memory here because we are going to use a state server so we are uh, setting as a state server mode equal to a state server and then we will have to specify the state connection string a state connection string is basically specified with a TCP is equal to and the IP address of the machine where you want to store the, mm, uh, the, the session data it can be your local machine or it can be altogether different machine connected into your network network so for example my if my this laptop is connected with uh, a network then what I can do is that I, instead of this local host I can specify my different uh, machine IP address with the port and when the when we will store the data then what will happen is that uh, the session data will be stored into that particular machine ASP.NET uh, state service uh, process now before you do that you will have to make sure that the ASP.NET state service is running on that computer otherwise you will not be able to store the data here because I am using on the same machine so I have used here localhost and then I have specified 42442 that is my port number and then uh, you can specify a state network timeout for example if uh, it is taking more than 10 seconds to connect to the, this particular machine then it will basically timeout 
so you can either increase it or, or decrease it it is up to you and once we have done that means one, once you have specified the session state mode and the state connection string and the uh, state network timeout then you are done with this now the next step, uh, step is to follow the same approach that we had followed to store the data into the session in case we had to use the in session management so I already have the code uh, here and that we had used through the last how to where uh, uh, we are basically uh, executing the get data method under the page load if it is not each post back and then we are uh, getting the data from the database storing it to the session and we are specifying the timeout and uh, setting the data table as the details uh, view data source and then calling the data bind and if the second time this particular page will be requested then it is checking for that session and if it is not null then simply unboxing the uh, data stored into the session to the data table and that's it so now let me run this page so I'm running this page now and actually uh, first time the data will come from the database so getting data from database when I will refresh then you can see that getting data from session is coming so next time the uh, data is coming from the session now in order to prove that our session data is being stored into the uh, state server what we will do is that we will do one practical so let me close my existing browser and let me run this page now when I am running this page you will see that first time the request the data is coming from the database and when I am refreshing this page the next time it is coming from the session variable now let me change the web.config file a little bit and save it now because the web.config file has been changed so ideally this application is restarting so when the application is restarting then the data should come from the database if you would have stored the session into the in-proc way but here it will, it will still come from the session see here it is coming from the session coming data from session okay now let me disable it so when I will disable it now what will happen the default is that the data will be stored into the in-proc session right it means that web server memory and now I am running the browser again now first time it is coming from the database second time it is coming from the session and now when I will change the web.config file and run the application you can see that it will again come from the database see and from the second time again it is coming from the session so th this concept pr proves that when the application is restarting after changing the web.config file in proc basically destroy the session and uh, uh, after hitting the page it is again getting the data from the uh, database and storing to the session but in case of the outproc session what is happening we uh, because the data is being stored into the all together different process so even if our application is restarting the session data is not lost okay the session data remains into the that particular state server and when we, when we are refreshing the page the data comes from the session uh, instead of from the database